I'm Philip Huxtable from JSR Farms and we are a leaf demonstration farm. Nutrient management planning is very important to us for a number of reasons. Firstly, the economics. It's a very valuable organic fertilizer to us. We get a, a, a better crop, a higher yielding crop from using organic manures. Uh, over the last nine years, our wheat has averaged 0.6 of a tonne per hectare, quarter of a tonne an acre more compared to those crops which haven't had an application. The financial value to us is somewhere in the region of £250 a hectare, £100 an acre. And thirdly, we are not causing any environmental issues because we are putting on what the crop wants. There is no wastage of, of nutrients. All our applications have to comply with NVZ regulations, uh, things such as NMAX for the crop, closed periods, etc. So let's think about the physical considerations of this field. Uh, it's a fairly level field, although some of our fields do slope, so we have to take slope into account. The soil type is a sandy clay loam. The field is underdrained, so we have to be aware of anything percolating down to the land drainage system. Um, beyond the six metre buffer zone we have a hedge and on the other side of the hedge there is a watercourse. We need to be aware of the proximity of the field to any wells, springs, boreholes etc and keep the appropriate distance away from them. We routinely test every fourth year for phosphate and potash. This field was tested a year ago when it was peas. In addition, we will do further testing for the soil nitrogen supply to see what residue of nitrogen is in the soil. Let's think of the nutrient management planning for this field. We're in a, a stubble from a wheat crop, which was peas 12 months ago. Um, a legume, obviously leaving a residue of nitrogen for this crop. This crop will now go into a second wheat and we shall be looking at applying organic manures to this stubble before we drill the next crop. One of the reasons we've picked this field for an application of organic manure is because it's going into a second wheat so we will have an autumn cover of wheat growing to mop up any nutrient that is released. So let's consider the nutrients available in the organic manure in terms of nitrogen, phosphate and potash and at this stage, this is where we take the nutrient management planning back into the office. So here we are back in the office and we are now going to formulate our nutrient management plans for the year ahead. So whilst at JSR, our nutrient management plan is on a software package on the computer, um, the tried and tested nutrient management plan is a very useful reference and check for us that we have considered all the relevant points. From this booklet, there is a photocopyable page which we can use for each field, uh, this field record sheet. So this acts as a good background to the field we've been in, with all the background data as we've discussed in the field. So from the information we have received for this particular field, we are looking to maintain the P and K level within that field. So we are planning what rate of organic manure we want to apply to that field to achieve the nutrients we require. Um, we can either use something like the fertilizer manual RB209 to give us the baseline information for what is available from organic manures or in our case, we would prefer to do our own specific analysis so we have accurate information from the material we are about to spread. Some farmers applying organic manures may prefer to use the organic manure sheet on an individual field basis as a record for the rates uh, and analysis of the material they are applying. What is crucial is you keep a record of what you are intending to do and what you have actually achieved. So having planned what we expect to get out of the organic manures, we can then look at um, what is needed as a top-up from inorganic or manufactured fertilizer. Other things very critical to do during the year 
uh, is both testing and calibration of organic and manufactured fertilizer application equipment. Throughout the year, it is absolutely crucial that we record all fertilizer applications, whether organic or manufactured. So let's remember why we're doing all this uh, recording, planning and recording. Uh, not only are we complying with legislation, we're making sure we're not harming the environment, but we're also getting some large financial benefit out of it. In our case, somewhere in the region of £250 a hectare, £100 an acre from the organic applications.